I've talked up a massive game, and that can sometimes be your uh, your, down, your downfall. And, and Jazz here has been really quiet and given nothing. Uh, Jez Green, Andy's uh, fitness and strength trainer and, uh, and myself uh, are going to go out at 200 metres and it all started back at the Australian Open when there was a bit of banter between the two teams and uh, we chose the 200 metres as probably our feature event. Three or four? Lane three, lane three or four? You go lane three? Lane three for Jess. Okay. Oh. Just um, it's something nice and we can laugh a little bit and uh, it's definitely something to, to take our, our heads off a little bit and uh, it's something exciting in the same time and uh, happy that also and they can come along and um, and just uh, just support all that. Hi. Hi. Hello. That's a lucky moment. I like to crush the opposition and you know just the talk from Andy. I mean I wish I was taking on Andy to be perfectly honest because I think I'd have him as well covered but uh, uh, you know I was nervous last night. I slept, I watched a little bit of Usain Bolt, I tried to get similar type of techniques, I've put myself under video surveillance. Uh, but I've bounced out extremely excited and uh, more importantly, I'll do it for the, for the kids of my foundation, which is pretty cool. <laughs> what what <laughs> is your boy wearing? That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, the outfit's important, I mean, because if you can't run, you better look good, you know, because you, you've got to at least impress at the starting blocks and then, you know, if someone beats you and they beat you by 50, at least you've looked good at the start. I ran in spikes once and I thought I was going to pay my, my cat. Good luck, man. Yeah, good luck, man. Thanks very much. Sure you do well. You good, man. Stop making them up. Hey! How are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Andy Bowie and Jim Petrovka, I believe, are in Queens on Sunday. I've had a slight bet with their coaches. Um, over, we've been over 200 metres. I can't believe there's this many people here. Yeah, well. I'm videoing it. It's tight. Tight. It tight. It's tight. It's pretty tight. Oh! It's pretty tight. Go on, run! It's pretty tight. Go on, Jess! Go on, run! Go on, Jess! Go on, Jess! Go on, Jess! Go on, Jess! Go on, run! Go on, Jess! Go on, run! Yes, baby! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kaida? 25. 26, 25. That's good, right? 26, 25. That's a very good count. 26, 25. Yeah. Round straight, Well done. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Roger Rashid Sports Foundation. We're using sport as a medicine to save kids' lives uh, in Australia, and we what, and hopefully I'll eventually take it around the world, but uh, in extreme disadvantaged communities, you know, sport it can be a really driving factor in, in directing them in life, especially in those communities. And uh, we go into those communities, source them out, work with them, create infrastructure, sporting infrastructure, then give them coaching for free, and then try and transition them into clubs if we can. So all this all of a sudden is at their doorstep and it gives them a pathway through life.